importance of being good. I was in the process of um, cleaning and sometimes in the morning um, to get me out of my whatever I'm in, I need a little extra release and so I help myself to some release. Now there's different methods that I use to help me with that and um, I prefer not to use methods that are not initiated from within myself because when you do that sometimes it's like a box of chocolates you don't know what you'll get you it's like buying a box of cheap chocolates like if you ever go to a discount store and there's a box of chocolates that would normally cost like twenty dollars if it was a name brand but it's like for sale for like four ninety five and you just want chocolate so you know that it's chocolate or something like chocolate and you bite into it, it's not really that good, but it's going to satisfy your sweet craving and your chocolate craving. And that's why I don't like to get help from things that are outside of myself, because when you do that, like I said, you don't know what you get. And this is why it's very important to be good and to be mindful and stick strong to your values, because the way technology is these days and um it's just you look for one thing and they give you other things sometimes very forwardly where you know they're giving you other things you're like oh, I didn't ask for that <laughs> you know and then other times it slips it under there where people that are post things um intentionally or unintentionally this these things I think are intentional because it's wrong. You know, this is the second time this has happened where I came across something that at first seemed innocent. No, actually the third time. But then as it goes through along in the video, you're like, wait a minute, this is wrong. And they post it. They don't hide their face. They don't try to hide anything. And it's scary to me. Um, and I guess by now, if you've seen it once, seen it twice, seen it three times happen by mistake, you start to realize that that's just the way the world is. And you realize even more so why there's really a such thing as a God or a higher power. This is why I have so much respect for Cat Williams because he says that, you know, he says F the atheist. I don't really feel that way, not that strongly. But he says there is something that's higher that keeps you in this grace because you know he was like well you know think about the times when you know there was absolutely no way out and something happened or some path was made that led that way just like neo in the matrix in that office building and it's true he talked about being homeless as a child like 13 years old behind um in coral springs behind that park i think it's i forgot the name of the park but i i know that part <laughs> but um yeah so and in this situation, it's the same thing. Because sometimes, like, I was sitting here, and y'all saw me the past couple days crying about <laughs> my situation. And not boohoo tears, because I don't know, I don't do the boohoo tears. Um, that's something, not, you know, but not boohoo tears, which y'all saw the hurt, you know. And not that I haven't done boohoo tears, I have. And um, y'all seen maybe one or two situations where the boohoo tears came on camera. But it's just. You know, I was boohooing about that, and I made acknowledgement to the fact that, hey, there's people that have it way worse off than me. And then when I think about it, I'm a single female. I'm African-American. And in my older years, even more so, my appearance is even more so African-American, unattractive, and, you know, not, connect, not connected with the African-American thing, but unattractive as, as I've gotten older, you know, because of the things that I've been through. Um, not that it can't change because really your beauty comes from the inside out. And I know that because really the only thing that's changed is that the gap in my teeth has gotten bigger. My teeth probably look a little yellower. <laughs> my hair is messed up. But my spirit has changed because it's been downtrodden. Now, what I'm going to say is this, you know, to be encouraged and be strengthened because no matter where you are in your life, there's somebody that's got it worse than you. When I watched that video by mistake, I came across it by mistake. I thought it was one thing and when I saw it it started out just normal like you know okay well you know that's something that they're into and then it went into this dude actually did something really wrong to this other dude 
you know, and and it was obvious. I mean, there was 20 minutes of wrong, and you're just like, and nobody had anything to say about it. There was no bad ratings on it or anything. I gave it the first bad rating, but it was just, you know, horrible. And when you think about it, if this grown man, and he appeared to be attractive, his face is covered, but he appeared to be attractive, appeared to be in good shape, he was taken. You know? And so, I'm going to say this, and this is to everybody else, but this is to me, me as well, mostly, but I'm just sharing it with you because you might. Um, whatever you're going through, somebody's going through 10 times worse. Think about, because I'm sure I'm not the only person that's happened to where you happen to watch a video and it turned out to be something completely different than what you expected. And you're like, you know, they actually posted that, you know? And really, there's a lot of wrong that's done in this world that's just outright in your face. And sometimes, and that's how the legal system works too, by the way. So they can be so wrong about it and be so in your face about it that there's nothing that you can say. Because first, you got to get over the initial shock. Then twice, the second thing is that it's hard for you to get over that because you've been trained and programmed that this is an entity that's supposed to do good. And you're trained a certain way about humanity too. But when you see things like that, I mean, when you, I'm going to say this. I'm going to choose in my life to do good. And the reason why is because when you see stuff like that, you know, that's absolutely wrong. <laughs> you know, it's absolutely wrong. So I'm encouraging y'all, you know, if you do porn, don't do it. Don't watch. Don't watch that. Um, I'm encouraging you all profanity. If you do profanity, don't do that. I mean, just all these things that are hurtful to the mind and spirit, don't. You know, to those of you with the mindset and the heart and the willingness to, you know, not to indulge in those things, please don't. I mean, it's a lot of evil that they're bad things for a reason, you know. Um, I'm just sharing that. I just, you know, be good if you can. I mean, simply put, be good, please, if you if you can. You know, I know, and maybe, you know, just like, I used to say being nice is a luxury it is and I always realized it was a luxury that I could I used to be able to really afford but if you're a good person at heart you can't afford not to be because you you just can't because there's some really bad things out there and you don't want to be anywhere near that kind of bad stuff so you know stay prayed up um it's so many things that I wish I could communicate but I just I just don't have the words and my spirit is so uh, torn by, by, you know, this understanding that I'm getting that's being shown to me through not so positive, you know, through things that were not good that um, I just don't have the words to put together to express to you, you know, what the what the realness of it is. But, you know, if there are those of you that are watching that understand and can put it into words, please verbalize it, post it on your video blogs or whatever, or your written blogs. Just communicate it if you understand and you can put it into words um, very well so that people will get what I'm saying. So, um, anyways, be good. That's all I can say. Just be good. The world needs it. Be good. Pray. Love. Just be good. Anyways, bye.